Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. Right, so we've had a good little explore around here. Let's go back to Captain's Quarters and see if we can put a plan together. At least, I hope we're going to go to the Captain's Quarters. Otherwise, well, <laughs> I'm going to have to run around here and try and find out what the hell we're supposed to be doing. Now, that's the shop. Oh yeah, because we loaded up on supplies last time as well, didn't we? Ah, I remember things about stuff. Oh. Now we have to climb up an endless, endless ladder. This game likes its ladders, huh? Well, that's okay. Oh, shit. We were supposed to find the kids before everything blew up, didn't we? Eh, uh, well, that's fine. <laughs> I guess we didn't find the kids. I hope we didn't need that for 100%. Okay, so this is all empty. I mean, I'm, like I say, I'm not going to guarantee we're going to get 100%. It would be nice to get 100%, but we'll see. Guys, your mother's really worried about you. The last time I saw her, she was in Captain Dine's office. Go see her, guys. Let her know that you're okay. Yeah, 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 we're on it. We're on it. We're doing it. Mum. Guys, Ika, thank the moons you two are safe. What happened here? It was the Imperial Marder. They came out of nowhere and attacked us. What happened to Dad? Where is everybody else? Your father said if we fight, too many lives would be lost. So he... He surrendered. So Captain Dine and the others? They were taken prisoner by the Armada and taken to Valyra. Damn, Fina. What, what happened to Fina? I'm sorry, Vice. The Amada took her too. In Valua, the punishment for piracy is death. Fina will probably be killed too. Please, what should we do? Ah, <sighs> well. Try and save everyone, of course. What do you think, Aika? We have to save our families. And Fina. I know rescuing everybody isn't going to be easy. Oof. But it's not impossible. We can't let them get away with this. Don't worry, we'll get them back. Somehow. Yeah, you're right. It's up to us. We can't give up now. Alright, let's go. Let's show these volumes what happens when you mess with the blue rogues. Wait, you won't be able to do anything against Valua in the shape you're in right now. Don't just rush off after them. You'll need a plan first. It's not going to be an easy fight. But, but, if we don't hurry, everyone might... My husband has already said, has always said, acting quickly and rushing are two completely different things. Especially in times like these. You must calm down and plan every move carefully. Don't worry, everything will be alright. He, your father, won't let things end like this. Not him. Yeah, mum, you're right. Okay, let's rest up today. We'll leave for Valio first thing in the morning. Okay. Right, so a plan has been hatched. The Serpent, the flagship. Lord Galcian, as you ordered, I brought the girl to see you. Excellent. You may leave. As you wish. Last we meet, Fina, you cannot imagine how much trouble the Amada has gone through to find you. <gasps> how did you know my name? I am Galcian, the sworn protector of the Valia and supreme commander of the Imperial M Amada. I am under direct orders from Her Royal Highness, Empress Theodora, to find you and bring you back to Valua. As a citizen of the Silver Civilization, you have information that is useful to us. Will you help us? I see. I did not expect you to help us without the proper motivation. However, I believe we have the same goals. So wouldn't it be best for us to help each other? We will reach Valia in half a day. Enjoy the comforts of the brig until then. 
<clears throat> Not great. Well, we awoke feeling well rested, I guess. Hey, mum's there. Cool. Good morning, dear. Are you all set to go? I almost don't want you to go. But I suppose you must. Stand tall, my son. When a sailor starts out on a journey, he needs to go with a little more hope in his eyes than that. Okay. We'll be fine here on the island, so don't worry about a thing. Just make sure and bring your father home safe and sound. Good luck, my dear. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. We're on it. We're doing it. We're doing it. For God's sakes. Someone around these parts has got to stand up and do something. Ah. Uh... Right. Okay. So, we haven't hit a fork in the road yet. We haven't, you know. Uh, reached a moment where we can't go back. So, I guess Ica is not there. Is anybody in here? Nope. Guess everybody's still downstairs. Ah, Granny. You gonna give us anything? Eyes, Ica. You both are going after Dine and the others. I pray to the moons to watch over you. Wherever you may go. Well, thanks for nothing, Granny. Now, could have given us, like, I don't know, a grenade launcher or something. Let's be fair, it's pretty obvious she's got one packed. Under that rocking chair of hers. Alright, well... We're stocked up. We've got plenty of items. We're weaponized. Let's go take our little barge and get out of here. Baze, just promise me one thing. You don't have to promise me that you'll come back. S oh, you have to. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. Yeah, fuck off. You have to promise me that you'll come back safely, no matter what. Okay? Promise? Ah. Uh... Is this part of our swashbuckling thing? I mean, it seems pretty uh, obvious. Uh, sit quietly, listen. So we're going to try and save everybody. Yeah. Right. Okay. So this is apparently nothing. Sure, I promise. Have I ever not come home safely? Have I ever let you down? Lindsay. Oh, that wasn't actually on my uh, notes. That's curious. N no, you've always come home to us. You see? So you don't need to worry. So don't worry. I'll, uh, I'll come back safely. And I'll bring everyone back with me. Okay, it's a promise then. We'll all be waiting for you. Come home soon. Right, what about you, kid? Don't worry about us, Vase. We'll take care of everything whilst you're gone. My injury? Uh, it's all better. My dad always told me that anything that doesn't kill you will hurt at first, but it will only make you stronger. Yeah, that's bad advice, kid, but sure. I'm going to try and fix everything. You just watch. I don't. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything. Okay, Vase? We're not little babies anymore. I was a little scared at first, but we've got to learn to take care of things around here, too. Yeah, good man. What about you, pal? Excellent. Okay, pal. I have to go away for a little while. You be a good boy and look after everybody whilst I'm away. Right? Pow, pow, pow. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, I guess we're going. Faze! Aika! Good luck! You better come back. Promise me, okay? Of course, don't worry. We'll be back with everybody else too. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no fucking problem, guys. All right, okay, let's go. Aye, Rara should be a landmass due north from here. I'm setting the course. All right, Valia, here we come. Yet yeah, in our little wooden barge with no weapons, we're going to go up against the mighty empire. Sure, why not? Right. And she never saw them again. Be a very short story, though, wouldn't it?
Right, so let's get out of here from Pirate's Island. So we want to go due north. Come on, baby. There we go. Onwards. Let's see what we can bump into on the way. Need to get a list of discoveries as well. Uh, actually, there's Shrine Island. Ooh, combat. Uh, we need all the discovery. Alright, let's go. I don't think we can get any other discoveries just yet. Fun. I could be wrong, though. There is a lot of discoveries. Look at that. You get like 105 gold from one basic, like, combat scenario. That's not bad. Let's go past Shrine Island. Oh, looks like we have another merchant. Hey, friend. Dude. You've just gonna ignore me? Do you know who I am? I'm Vase of the Blue Rogues. It was incredible. I heard this really loud rumble. My ship started shaking. I looked over the side. I saw a whole fleet of Valian warships. I wonder where they were going. With a fleet that large, they must have been attacking someone. Yeah, me. It's not a good time. Right. This is looking a little bit more interesting. Missed! Vise, you missed! Seriously, dude? Gonna have to do better than that, chaps. Got an empire to take down. Yeah, you can see our weapons actually look different, which I really like in this game. That wasn't always a given back then. Unfortunately, our armor doesn't change, but, you know, can't have everything. Ah, oh, dude. Savage. Don't run away. I need your XP. I need to absorb your souls. There we go. Nice. Just cut down the rest of them. I can't remember how big the party gets. I think you get... Um, I think it's three or four. Might just be three, actually. No, actually, it might be four. Four people you can have total. Which is pretty good, really. That was fun. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, was it? Eight XP. Yeah. And 60 gold. Hey, oh, we've got Moonberry. Nice. That's not bad. Right, so we have this huge thingy majig here. Don't think there's anything here that we can get. No. Just keep going north. Northward bound. Well, apparently they toned down the amount of battles you got. Probably going to start skipping these combat sections. Still not sure about that. I might leave it in for this video, and then because uh, this is going to be the last video of the set, so and then I'll ask you guys what you think in the Discord. That was easy. Yeah, that blade looks way better than the original one. 150 gold, nice. Yeah, items really don't cost barely anything. Visibility is horrible. Vibes, the fog is too thick. I can barely see. That's strange. There's never any fog in this region. I wonder what's causing it. The only way to get to Valley is through here. Slow to half speed. Vibes, wait. We're too close to that island over there. Uh oh. The cheese and biscuits is that? What? Where? Yeah, that ain't that that that's no island, chief. Yeah, that's like, face. Look, it, it's not an island. Whatever it is, it's alive. Yeah, just a little. Thing looks awesome, by the way. The, it, it's an arc whale. 
Yeah, that is a big boy. Oof. I've never seen one this big before. Baze, we'll get killed if we get too close to it. But we've got to hurry to Valinor. Ah, Vase, what should we do? Um, we're not going to attack it because that would be absolutely suicide. Um, we're going to retreat. What do you think we're going to do, of course? We're going to retreat. We don't stand a chance against that thing in this ship. I know we're in a hurry, but if that thing capsizes us, everybody we know will be executed. We better play it safe. Okay, I can't argue with that. We'll be okay as long as it doesn't see us. Ah. Uh, ah! <laughs> oh, shit, son. Faze, it saw us. Grab hold of something and brace yourself. Don't let go. But, but, but the ship, it's breaking up. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's not good. I guess we survive. Hey, get up. Ugh. Are you going to sleep all day? Get up. Oh, my head. Ugh. Aika, are you okay? So you finally decided to get up, huh? Uh huh? Man with artificial arm. Because of you two, Ragnam got away. I was so close. Ragnam? Now I remember that huge arc whale that blew our ship off course. I thought we were finished, but you rescued us. Hey, thanks. Thanks? Thanks, you say? Don't start with me. Oof. Please! Ah, I'm not sure why, but I keep getting hurt today. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, you crusty, uh, rusty old man? He didn't do anything. Didn't do anything? I've been chasing after that arc well for years. I was so close to finally capturing him, but because of you kids, he got away. I'm really sorry that you didn't catch him. Really. Ah. Debris from your ship hit my sails. I'm lucky my ship is still airborne. You kids were even luckier that I was here to grab you. I was working all morning tossing what was left of your ship overboard. Now I'm stuck with the two of you. What? Our ship was destroyed? Aye. Now, this ain't a passenger ship. Everybody on board needs to pull their own weight. If you don't like it, you can jump off. I need to keep the load as light as possible anyway. What? Oh, great. What kind of mess have we gotten ourselves into? Well, I mean, it could be worse. We could have, you know, died. Go down to the hull and bring two supply boxes up to the bridge. Aye, aye. Bring two supply boxes to the bridge. No problem. I'll bring them right away. Actually, sir, we're on our way to Valio when we were attacked. Where is this ship heading? Where is this ship is going is none of your concern. Now get moving. I give up. I don't really have the time to be doing this, but what other choice do I have? I Let's take control of the ship. Fuck you, old man. Hurry up and bring the boxes from the storage room up here. Ugh, find your miserable old bastard. Fucking miserable dick. Um, I'm not sure, actually, if there's any chests here. I don't think there's any chests here. This is a really old map. It looks like it's been sitting in the sun for a really long time. I'm st it's starting to fall apart at the edges. Yeah. Okay. Right, two boxes for the old man. Fine. I suppose he did save us and all that. Oh, look at this old engine. Jesus. Didn't know they still made these things. This looks like it's the storage area. I can smell dried fruits and meat through the cracks in the door, but the door's locked. Great. Great. Stupid old man. The door's locked. I wonder what's in here. Damn it, the old man's holding out on us.
Nice automatic doors, though. Can't argue with that. Oh, we have lifeboats. Two lifeboats. All right. Ugh, won't open. Must be locked. Damn it, old man. What are you trying to do? What's the meaning of this? Um, right. So we can't go through there. We can't go through. Let's see if there's anything on the third floor. I suppose we should, we could cut power to the old bastard's engines. See how it likes that. Ah, ah, ah. Right. These look like boxes. Well, this looks like the box the old man wanted me to get. Does? What the? What's in this thing? Oh, Jesus. Great. This guy's probably going to work us to death. Yeah, probably. Oof. What the hell's in those things? There's one. So, what exactly is Ica doing all this time? Hmm. You look like you've got a little more than lover on your bones. What's your name, boy? Uh-huh. My name's Vise. I'm a blue rogue. I used to do this type of grunt work on the pirate ship. An air pirate, huh? Well, and what exactly would two air pirates be doing sailing alone? Well, yeah, we have our reasons. Sir, we need to get to Valua. I beg of you, please take us there. Valua, huh? Explain. And that's why we have to get there as soon as possible. We need to save our friends. Ah, trying to pick a fight with the Yamada? You've got to be out of your mind, boy. I have no time to babysit you and your friend. And I need to find Rackman again. Try your luck with a different ship. I see. It would be really uh, it would really help if you could bring us but we can't force you to by the way why exactly are you chasing Rackman anyway Ugh. there's no need to tell you and there's still one supply box left get down to the hull and get it moving great I spill my guts and he keeps quiet then he makes me do more work what's with this guy He's a dick. Well, that's not true. It's actually, you yeah, know, it's actually a pretty cool character, but he seems like a dick at the moment. Okay. Let's see if we can go through this one. We can. See if we can find where Ika's. Okay, so she's not slacking off. That old man, he's working us really hard. He needs to lighten up. But he did save us, so I guess we can't complain too much. Oh well. Back to work. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Alright then. That's enough slacking off for now. Is she just going to repeat the same line again? Hey, besides, I'm used to scrubbing decks anyway. Let's just get our work done, okay, Vase? I don't want to make him mad. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, I'll go fetch the box. I suppose he did save my ass. Alright, come on then. Great, now i got to move boxes all day. Well, only two. Jesus, what's in this thing anyway? I suppose the man with a artificial arm is not used to having a crew. Good man, Vice. Good man. Sigh. I'm done, sir. Alright. Now, on to the next chore. Take the helm. What? Are you really letting me... I want to see how well you can sail. If you can't sail, you'll be loading boxes the rest of the trip. 
Wow, most of my duties revolve around raiding, so I hardly ever get to actually fly our old ship. <laughs> well, they're pretty old, but these gauges are in great shape. And the wheel is so light, it's really responsive too. This ship must make really tight turns. Yeah. For someone who's hardly ever been at the helm of a ship this size, he seems to know quite a bit, boy. <laughs> I spent a lot of time on the bridge of the Albatross, so I picked up a lot. Good. Now let's see if you can actually sail. Our destination is Sailor's Island. It's about 40 leagues northwest from here. Wait a minute. You could at least tell me the name of this ship. And yours whilst you're at it. Yeah. The ship's called Little Jack, and I'm Drachma. Alright, now stop falling around. The sun is going to set soon. Aye, aye. aye Captain Drachma. Little Jack, full speed ahead. Drachma joined your party. Drachma has allowed you to use his blue moonstone. Good of him. Right, now we've got a little bit of a better ship. The Drachma, uh, the Little Jack, I should say. And we have another member in our party, which is also excellent. Let's go. This is quite a good ship as well. Huh? Can I help you? The ship here is a free medical vessel. Are you here for treatment? Are you sick or something? No, we're fine. We're just passing through the area. I'm sure your ship. Figured we'd come and see who you were. Wait a second. Your clothes, your weapons, your eye patch. You guys are air pirates. You're just in time. There's something that I want to ask of you guys. Please, come inside. Interesting. Now the ship got bigger. Hi. Ship doctor, I apologize for the abruptness. I don't... I know you don't really need my services, and I have no need... and have no need to stay, but I have a favor to ask of you. But first, let me introduce myself. The name is Doc, or that is what everyone calls me. I'm a free doctor. I don't have a country to call a home. But that lets me live the way I want, so... Uh, want to. So, I fly the skies and heal the sick and injured sailors whenever the winds take me. Oh, and this is Maria. She's a little quiet and shy, but she's a good kid. Right. Now, what was that thing you wanted to ask us to do? Yeah, direct and to the point. I like that. Here, take this. It's sort of related to what I want you to want to ask you. Don't remember this. This must be new. That thing's called a moon lens. It's a special lens made from moonstones. With it, you can see things you wouldn't normally be able to see. Here, put the lens on and look where I'm pointing. Yeah, this is definitely new, I think. Oh. Whoa, there's some, there's some sort of creature right there. It's a moonfish. They're tricky little fellas to catch because they're, well, transparent. You can only see them using that lens. Which brings me to the favor I wanted to ask of you. I want you to find as many of these moonfish as you can and bring them back to me. They tend to nest in populated areas for whatever reason, so check towns and dungeons. But they try to keep out of most people's way, so look in hard to reach areas like behind buildings, under bridges, and rooftops. Oh, one more thing. Uh, whenever near you're near a moonfish, the moon lens I gave you will react to make a sound, so pay attention. Okay, so use this lens to see little guys. How in the six moons am I supposed to catch them? Is pretty easy actually. Here, let me put the moon lens into your goggles. When I'm done, you can use it when you go into a first person point of view Y button. Once you find a moonfish, your target will appear. Line up with the moonfish, and when you've got the moonfish in your sights, just push the A button. And there you go, the lens was a perfect fit. Well, sounds easy enough, right? Actually, the reason. 
for all this is a bit strange. A little bird got lost and found its way to my ship. I decided to take care of it for now, but I just don't get what this bird's problem is. He refuses to eat anything other than moonfish. But for whatever reason, Maria seems to have grown really attached to the critter. So I do what I can to keep it happy. Okay, it's sort of my responsibility to take, take care of Maria. Anything she wants, I provide. Of course, there's only so much I can do. But I can't leave my ship. I can't leave Maria here all alone. That's why I'm asking you for this favor. Of course, I will compensate you adequately. Bring me lots of fish and I'll give you items in return. So please, if you find any moonfish, bring them to me. I'll be eternally grateful. All right, dude. Sounds like you've got yourself a deal. There shouldn't be moonfish. Oh, there should be moonfish near or on Sailor's Island. I'm sure if you look hard enough, you can find them. Be sure to check on top of roofs and behind buildings. Check everywhere using your first person point of view. Good luck. All right, dude. Yeah, I, d I don't remember that from the Dreamcast version. Maybe that's new to Legends. I don't know. But I do know there's about 24 fish to find, I think. Oh, God, I remember this music. Well, here we are, Drachma. Wow, so this is Sailor's Island. I've never been here before, but I can already tell this place is lots of fun. Yep, I think I'm going to like it here. All right, Ika. Good. After I restock my supplies, I'm leaving again. You two can stay here. Hey, wait a second, we have no ship. Are you planning to just strand us here? I've got to find Raknan. And in the meantime, I have to find a cannon that is powerful enough to destroy him. I have no time to waste with you kids. You two can resolve your own problems. Miserable bastard. This is just great. He's not listening to anything we're saying. I wonder if there's anything that will make the old man change his mind. Maybe we can dig up some information. Let's go around town, see what we can find. Eh, seems reasonable. Drachma has left the party. Okay, let's have a little look around here. Lately, the Volran Empire has been expanding at an ex at a s astonishing pace. I can't help but worry. They say this man called Lord Galcian, who commands the Armada, is responsible for their success. Interesting. Hello, travelers. I'm a merchant from the country of Nassar, or Nassar, a land that lies east of here. This area is known as Mid-Ocean, and if you sail to the north, you will reach Valia. Because of this island is situated halfway between Nassar and Valia, it's become the perfect spot for traders to exchange information. Perhaps you should talk to people around town as well. You never know what sort of information you might come across. Ooh. Okay, well, I do know what this building is. This is the Merchant's Guild, or Discovery Guild, or whatever it's called. This is the, sa the Sailor's Guild. You can get information about ships and general sailing tips here. We also purchase information on discoveries made throughout the entire world. So if you've made any discoveries, just let us know. We'll pay you handsomely for the information. Don't forget to check the wanted list to see who else is causing trouble around these parts. Let's buy and sell some discovery information. Wanted list, eh? Baltor the Black Bearded. Baltor the Black Bearded. Bounty, 1,000 gold. A despicable pirate who will attack anything. So, yeah, we've got bounties to take care of. Uh, we can sell our information. Only 120 gold. That's not great. You found what? You must tell me where you found it. I must let the whole world know. We can buy information as well. Um, it doesn't cost a lot. You know, but you don't need to buy information. So, you yeah. know. We're not going to. Uh, talk about various things. People have been known to find ancient artifacts, rare animals uh, and plants, even strange land formations. When you're traveling throughout the skies, if you notice anything unusual, be sure to check it out. If you're lucky, you might find something. Oh yeah, one more thing. Whenever you find near a possible discovery, your compass will begin to spin wildly. So whenever you notice your compass acting strangely, check out the area right away. 
Aye, dude. Cool. In every port of any size, you'll always find a branch office of the Sailor's Guild. I suggest you pay a visit. Yes, boss. Story of the legendary air pilot. The Valia of the Valia Nassai War. The history of mid-ocean. Alright, let's try and talk to him, actually. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Uh, he's checking out the the board, I think. Alright, well, cool. And there's some dude outside as well. But what we need to do before anything else, we need to save the game. Vaguely remember. Hmm. Ah. Hello. There's a fish thing up there. Yeah, they definitely weren't in the Dreamcast version. Not that I remember, that's for sure. Alright, we need to find a save point. This is not a save point. It's a shop. Uh, what's that? This is also not a save point. There's gotta be a save point here somewhere. Oh, I remember this dude. It's so good to be on solid ground. Oh, lovely, lovely ground. Oh, sweet, solid ground. It feels so good just to be able to roll around like this. Ah, nothing beats being on solid ground. No more roll, uh, rolling motion. No more tilting. It's so beautiful. Yeah, cool story, dude. Ah, perfect. Right. We are going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always... Until next time.